What's going on guys? Matt Schaefer back here from Mosaic Design with a, another build for you. This one's going to be quick and simple, pretty easy to explain. Uh, we have a Bentley customer here and we did a Hi-Fi 2 upgrade. And basically what that means is we replaced all the equipment in the vehicle without going you know, over the top with the best equipment that's out there. Um, so budget is taken into consideration with a build like this where we may have to choose D-Class amps rather than Class A B amps, uh, two-way active versus three-way active, you know, things like that. So looking in the trunk, I built a, basically a amp cover, right? So the amp, the subwoofer enclosure and everything is behind this setup right here to still keep the factory look. So yeah, behind this panel here, you have all the amplifier set up. Here's a picture of what is behind this panel. We have a Focal five channel amplifier. We have a Moscone Pico that powers the rears. Um, that Focal amp that I just mentioned basically runs the front two way flax active. And then it also powers our flax 12 inch subwoofer. That subwoofer enclosure is right behind this amp rack here. Looking at the design of the amp set up here, we went with the diamond pattern, of course, that is notorious in this car, on the seats, on the dash, on all the little rubber inserts that you can find in the cup holders, the center console. So this is a pattern that runs throughout the vehicle. So basically made this piece here on the laser, uh, drew it all up on the computer, and then loaded the front of it with acrylic to give it some depth, and then finished it off with a trim ring here with that silver border. Up here, it's kind of tough to see because it's dark up in there, is we have Alcantara suede. So I'll flash some pictures here so you can see what it looks like with good lighting. Basically cut some V grooves through this panel here and then again wrapped it in that Alcantara suede just to give it depth, right? So we have multiple layers even though we're still keeping it pretty basic. But, you know, instead of just throwing up a carpeted board or something of that nature. We like to go the extra mile and make sure everything has the fit and finish to match the vehicle. Also looking in here, we have the main battery here. On this side, we have where the factory amplifier was, which we got all our new signal wire from. And basically, we ran a circuit breaker here. So this is the main brains of the entire system. So if you wanted to kill power to all our equipment here, all you'd have to do is hit this button here. This feeds another power distribution, which is right here behind this panel in this lower corner. So looking at the inside, uh, everything remains a factory look. Uh, as far as the speakers, the speakers are behind the panel. Here's a picture here to show you what, what the setup looks like behind this door panel. We sound dampen the door. We had to make our own brackets to adapt our Focal Flax speakers, which you can see here. And uh, the tweeter, this, I had some back and forth with this on how I was gonna do it. Uh, this was, you know, we had a certain budget to obtain by, so we could not make pillars in this setup. This is only a two-way, not a three-way. And the factory tweeter is up there on the dashboard. And th really the proper way to take this panel off is you have to remove the windshield. I mean, you can fight with it for quite some time and try and get that out, but that's not an optimum location to put our tweeter because you're basically aiming the tweeter off glass, which glass is a reflective surface, and we can't control a reflection through uh, digital sound processing. So there's gonna be things uh, in the EQ that we would not be able to truly correct. So, Upon opening the box, you know, I've always seen these modular tweeter mounts. Uh, in this case, it, you know, it actually looked great. So I, I went back and forth with, if, am I going to use them or not? But uh, I'm so glad I did because, I mean, the color matches perfectly. The, the circular modular design really fits the car because there's circles everywhere within, you know, this car here. They revolve around arcs and circles on the Bentley. So it really looks like it's supposed to be there. And not to mention the way it's angled um, literally came out perfect because the way these tweeters are aiming towards the center of the vehicle is absolutely, absolutely perfect. If, if I were to make a little modular thing, it would probably be the same exact shape because 
it hits exactly where you want to straight in the center of the vehicle. That actually did wonders for the staging in this vehicle. There is no center channel here, but you know, if something's recorded center, it is so what I like to call a perfectly perfect center image right there in the center of the dash. And by that, I mean, you know, when people have conversations in person and you were to close your eyes and somebody were to talk, you would be able to track them with no effort, right? You'd be able to tell exactly where they're, where they're coming from. So in a car with a DSP, you know, that's the obstacle we have to overcome, right? We want to hear that center image where it's perfectly perfect, where if you close your eyes, there's no doubt in your mind that that person is right there, you know, singing and instruments and everything else that's going on in the music have its own place on the dashboard. So that is really the magic behind audio integration where, you know, you go to other places and, you know, their expectations are, hey, let's just make it louder and let, let's make it sound more clear. Where here, we go that extra mile and we actually set up the atmosphere of the vehicle to reciprocate the music how it's intended to sound. Down here, we have our Moscone Mini Remote Control. And this is going to switch between two different presets. So we have preset one, which is the factory radio. Anything that is the factory radio is going to run through preset one. Uh, in this case, we would turn the volume all the way up, and then we would use this for our volume for the factory radio. For preset two, that is our digital AMAS. And what the AMAS is, it's a digital streaming device that links to a Bluetooth device um, with a high Bluetooth transmission protocol. So there's not, there's nothing being uh, downsampled, if you will, within the track. So it's, you know, above CD quality. They just came out with the AMAS 96K, which is uh, a transfer rate of 24 bit 96K, which is also Aptex HD, um, to where you can pair a high res player, such as my Astell and Kern here and have that Bluetooth protocol, but it's going 24 bit 96 K that gives you your multiple options. It also has a sub control in here uh, this panel. We made, this was just an opening before uh, like a little coin tray. So we made our own panel. We gave it the, uh, the grid that you see here just to make it look like it's supposed to be there. Like it's a design element of the car. And then it's finished off with our mosaic logo here. As far as the rear speakers, we kept the rear speakers factory, just hooked the crossover up to them because they ran active out of the factory amplifier. And then the subwoofer that you see there is a 12 inch Focal Flax um, subwoofer. And that is just playing right there through the ski pass. Uh, in Bentley, they do a great job of really isolating everything. So the ski pass is very necessary for that uh, transmission for the audio to come into the cab. Thank you guys once again for the continued support. Here are my Instagram handles down here. We have three of them, music underscore design, which is basically for my branch of sound effects. Sound effects is where I work. It's in Lewis, Delaware. Sound effects, home car, that is the next one. And then we have at the real Maddie underscore S. That is my personal handle. You can also send me an email at matt at musicdesign.com. You can give me a call. Here is my personal uh, work number here. You can call me, text me from there, uh, ask me questions, inquire about a job, a build. And like always, guys, make sure you hit that subscribe button to follow for more builds in the future.